I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this concept of the man today, it's someone who can't express his emotion. He has to be bad. He has to be bad. He has to be harsh. He has to be emotional. It's cold. cold, yeah. yeah. You, know, you find that even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and there are many examples of companions who when it was time to smile they would smile and when they were emotional they would shed tears and it never took away in fact it only enhanced their manhood it didn't it didn't take anything away from it you know as human beings now forget men as human beings we're designed like this we have emotions and we have a physical channel of showing this emotion. That's right. And I think on the downside, if we look at it on the other hand, it's that when you suppress this emotion, like this is in our fitra, Allah it's made us people who have this emotion. Very problematic. Prophet Sallam, he cried. When his son died, he cried. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the man who had the most patience, but at the same time, he was, you know, he was affected. He had that emotion. And he goes, this is rahmah. When he was asked, what is this? He goes, this is rahmah. This is mercy. And it's something we should never suppress. Don't think that by suppressing your emotions, you're more of a man. You're actually harming yourself. Like study so. You know, Sheikh, it's not just with manhood. You find that even, even many young brothers, when they come on to deen, we take on this sort of funny persona. persona of that now because I'm religious, therefore I have to always be serious. Right? Um... I frown more than I smile, um, you know, that my demeanor has to be a certain way. And thinking that this is what the expectation is, whereas actually re in reality it's quite contradicting to how the Prophet wasallam was. He was always hospitable, always. You know, you always felt like I can be with him, I can be in his presence, I can ask him, oh. right? Like you never feed this. And it's unfortunate because you know, our women, even with their husbands, they're afraid. You know, I can't talk to him. I can't show him my emotion. How is he going to interpret this? How? And it snowballs. You know, if I can't express my emotion, if I can't, then unfortunately people are going to other means. It will eventually come out one way or another. Yeah. Like your, your mate has so to. Whether it's it through depression, to. loneliness, anxiety, it's going to come out in one form or another. But you need to be able to have those emotions but at the same time channel them in the right way and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was a man who ha who expressed emotion himself but at the same time he was able to understand the emotions of others you know we would see that he walks up to the, the child the brother of anas bin malik who's saddened by the the death of his sparrow yeah. he goes to cheer him up yeah, and he's, this doesn't take away from your manhood the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if anything it actually it, like it enhances wallah i feel like it adds and you know what, you know, it's, it's those little things that a man does in his life that whether he realizes it or not, it has a, يعني, a huge effect, a positive effect on that young child or on that person. How we express ourselves, our emotions, and also how we allow others to express their emotions with us also, especially our family members, is very important. You know, it's very important that your children especially feel safe to express themselves to you. Because if they don't express themselves to you, then 100% they're going to express themselves to yeah. someone else. You know, like they say, if you don't give your kid time, then your kids will give other people time. Wow. You know? SubhanAllah. It's being that accessible human being. And even I remember, Sheikh, you, you taught me this. The Prophet Sallallahu he'll walk in Medina and a little girl will take him by the hand and walk him around. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to anyone else, they'll be, oh, I'll never be seen, and you know, being led by the Sheikh al Islam <laughs> or the, the Qadi al Khutbah. This is Rasulullah <laughs> Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that is, or under him is the control of the whole Medina, you know. And but his humbleness, his gentleness, his accessibility was like this. You know, Bil Mu'minina, Ra'ufur Rahim.